we will keep you updated if you're not on digitalpool.com looking yourself if you're just watching this match we will keep you updated on the scores from the other matches 16 matches are being played that will give us 16 winners from this round and as I said earlier they will play the 16 undefeated players judgment day here on day three may pot this ball in the corner it could even go off the six as well oh pockets a six instead <laughs> yeah that's a bad shot I'm afraid you will know that himself a little longer than he probably should do. Yeah, he did. Just needs to play a little draw shot. Could maybe go forward, but I think he'd have to play with spin, so you can see he's aiming low. And he's lost the cue ball. That was all caused by the previous shot. Just get the cue ball in the centre of the table and you've won the rack. Now, you've got to play some form of bank shot or safety, Eddie. He looked like he just kind of babied that ball. He really didn't put enough into it, didn't get that, that draw that he needs to. And, uh, yeah, left himself a real tough shot here. Um, but he drills it. Look how far he stands off his cue. Amazing. You can just tell we're only three racks in. He knows the game, doesn't he? He's got all them little shots in his armour. Spinning the cue ball around the table. Watch this one. Yeah, you see the way he hits it. He's going to need an angle here, though. Yeah, it's pretty straight here on the eight. Slight angle, but would have liked a little bit more, wouldn't he? Yeah, and you don't really want to be shooting this nine ball up into the top left and going past the middle. You want to come down into the bottom left. So if he's got angle, he'll go forward. Yeah, he's done well. Wants this to slow down a bit, though. And that is a little longer than he would have liked. <laughs> Just <Yeah>. there. <laughs> exactly. It's like he heard you and said, this is where I wanted to be, Carl. This is where I wanted to be. Yeah, we know, Laura. We know. We know where you wait to be, buddy. Little tester. Easy. It's an easy game. So he chose to come on the opposite side of the five, which is going to be a little interesting because I think he's going to have to really bring the cue ball here to get shape for the six. Looks like he's going to stun it on the left side of the nine. Yeah, off the two rails and back up. That's good. Yeah. You can see on the last few shots and the whole of this match, if you keep leaving the cue ball around the center of the table a large portion of the time, you're always going to do well at the game of nine ball. Same again here. Look, get the cue ball around that centre. See? Centre of the table again. Tidy to play that hard. I thought he was going to play it a little softer with right spin and just come down the right hand side of the table. Big shot coming up. 6 2 or 5 3. When it's all turn at break, is a big scoreline. 
Well, this has been very impressive indeed from the Filipino. Bongay 6, Zhuberi 2. What a performance this has been so far. Well, he missed it, but he had a horrendous contact. You could see the five ball skid on him. Yeah, that was about almost two diamonds off. That was, that was yeah, rough. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if he would have potted it anyway, but you could... You could physically see the five balls just turn over. This is a thin one. Yeah, you gotta come back off the rail and come back forward. He did probably a little harder than he wanted, but still good. Should be able to get shape for the seven. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting shot he's faced with it. Does he risk trying to find the center spot of the table? Or does he go forward with left hand spin around the back of the eight ball to land low of the nine? Let's have a look what he's going to play. Get out of there. Oh. Well, it's a bit of a lifeline, this. Yeah, you can see there, Shrewsbury's still talking about that kick he had on the five ball. <laughs> We've seen it, buddy, don't worry. It was a bad contact. We haven't seen him at the table get any sort of rhythm in quite a while. So I think this is necessary for him to see the nine ball go down. Get some confidence back on the table. Oh my, oh my, oh my. It's gone from bad to worse this match and he's left the shot. Didn't see that one coming. Didn't get on the nine as he wanted. But it all looked a little awkward for me. The way he had his bridge and tucked under the rail. I would never. I was never convinced he was going to pot that. Yeah, I hear you, Carl. It didn't seem he was very confident in the shot. He was just kind of going through the motions. You know, the shape from the seven to the eight really wasn't there. The shape from the eight to the nine really wasn't there. Was he over at this ball? He wasn't playing for the side. I don't know what it is. I, th I think he's played very well, but now we're getting near the end of the match. And I just feel like... Is, is he going to close it out convincing? I've seen that a couple of times around this TV table where they get to the seven, maybe into the eight mark, and then they get a little nervous or get a little shaky and don't really close the show out, but... Let's see if we can pot this ball on the side and just felt the whole rack, shot after shot, just not quite getting the cue ball where he wants, and then from the eight to the nine there, and you know you're seven two up. Your opponent's not showed you anything that you should be worried about. I mean, you just finish the match off, don't you? Yeah, you do. And that, like you're mentioning, the, the 8 to the 9 was real funny because he definitely didn't need to come behind the 9. I mean, he had the whole front of the table to work with. Just just anyone on that side of the table. Oh, look at this. Zhuberi has really struggled in this match. I mean, maybe we've got to give him some benefit of the doubt. The way he was stretching in the bathroom, maybe he's got some kind of little injury because... I mean, surely he's not played this bad the full event and got himself into LQ bracket. Yeah, no way. I mean, this is just a bit unusual, of course, right? I mean, you can't you can't be at this tournament with this high level of competition, still be in the tournament at this point, um, unless you're you're shooting well throughout the week. Get rewarded for going for your shots, not playing like a lunatic, of course, but you know, <laughs> go go for your shots.
Smart shot there. He knew he couldn't really get great on the orange five into the top left pocket. So he just used that top rail, drew the cue ball all the way back, give himself the best option. got all the shots he really has even that shot loading it up with right English mm -hmm. just to spin it round and to get there he's, he gets some action on the cue ball he really does yeah absolutely he wanted to avoid the nine at all costs so he decided not to even flirt with the nine take some heavy inside English and come around two rails for a nice shot on the seven you know, despite what you said about, or what we said about the last rack, about not really being there, a little shaky with his position play, this is quite the opposite. There's the concession. Overall, Laurel Bongo can be really proud of his performance. What a win. He beats Jewberry nine racks to two. Bongay is through to the last 32.